All right, everybody, hang on. We're just going to have a chance to load in here. Loading times can vary in all space, uh, depending on, uh, you know, I used to say it depends on internet speed, but I don't think it really does. I think it has to do with the time of day in all space. But while we're waiting for everybody to get in here, if you guys will notice, we've got Raven Eye in the corner there. That's our YouTube camera. And if we get any usable content, you'll see this episode up on YouTube in a couple of weeks. So if you want to feel VR famous, all you got to do is turn around and be like, hey, YouTube, how's it going? Notice me. And, you know, we got a lot of people in here. We got Hummingbird. We got Morgan Forrest. We've got a fly diver and Tamila VR. We got a lot of people in here. We got Chanza. We got Placer. We got a lot of people in here. All right. Uh, let's get everybody up in the air. What you want to do is you want to press that blue and white triangle button on your lower left. Now, once you press on this, you're going to see your main menu open it in front of you as if by magic. That's what magic looks like in VR. And you're going to see all these tabs in the very bottom there and the, down toward the bottom right. You're going to see the settings tab with a cogwheel on top of it. And once you press on that, you're going to see all these categories on the left-hand side. And that third category down is going to say oh. input. Once you press on input, you're going to see the top center panel now has the word fly. And next to that will be a white circle that's going to change your life forever. Because when you press it, it's going to turn blue. And now all you have to do is press the close button in the lower right. That's the X with the circle around it. You'll be able to see again. So hi, everybody. Listen, don't worry if you miss those instructions. I'm happy to go over them again. But if you squeeze your left trigger button, this is going to cause you to accelerate if you want to go faster. But to get flying, all you have to do now is just move forward and look up. And you're going to go right up into the air. Right now, you steer with your head, which can feel kind of weird. So to get used to it, all you have to do is fly out through this doorway here and go up to those red rings along the runway, and you'll reach the tower where you're going to learn about a type of teleportation that feels like fast flight. We call it zip lining. You're going to zip line down to that yellow X. You're going to feel a tremendous sense of accomplishment. You want to accomplish great things in all space. But listen, if you want to get there in style, all you have to do is go to the end of the runway by that gray wall, and you're going to see an aircraft with an open door. If you go into that open door, you're going to see uh, on the console is a launch button. And that pointer that's coming out of your right hand, if you aim it at that launch button, your target's going to start to spin, right? So all you have to do now is just squeeze that trigger button, and one of these ships will attach to you. It has spinning turbines and engine noise. They're a lot of fun to fly around in, but you got to make sure you're in flight mode or else you're going to come off a landing pad there, and you're just going to you know, come out onto the grass, and you're just going to end up in the lawn. And that's how we keep the grass so nice and trim here at the Flight Academy. In the meantime, if anybody has any questions or missed those instructions, like when you go over them again, just let me know. I'll be here for the duration of the event. If you get stuck out there and you have any issues, just come on over to this office and see me, and, uh, you know, we'll take care of you. All right? Anybody have any questions? Looks like everybody got those instructions because everybody's up in the air, except possibly Blazer. Blazer just might be, like, you know, just be really tall. All right, there we go. Let's see who else we got there. We got Chanza. It's, like, kind of half stuck in the wall there, all kind of, like, glued in there. There we go. Flying around. Very good. Excellent. All right. Uh, so does anybody have any questions at all? No questions. And hand up there, uh, Tamila, you have a question? You're muted, so we can't hear you. You're going to have to press your microphone button there. Oh, okay. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you fine. What's up? Oh, okay. I just, it was very quick. So <laughs> I just want to make sure that I understand. So just, okay. you, you, when you say squeeze the button, just what is the uh, All the button you? squeeze does is that's going to make you go faster, right? You're, once you're in flight uh. mode, you just move around and you use your head to steer, which is, can be kind of weird. There's a more precise mm -hmm. type of flying available. If you use the flight tool, if you like, I can show you how to do that. But all that right, all that left trigger button is going to do is make you go quicker. All right. So if I'm normally moving like this, right mm -hmm. now, if I squeeze that left button there, now I'm going to go like that, like really quick. Right. And there's an even faster version if you use the flight tool. And if you like, I can walk you through that. Yeah. The flight tool is a lot of fun to play around with. So let me know if you want to learn that. Okay. But that's, mm -hmm. that's essentially it. Yeah. When you move forward, just make sure you're in flight mode. Move forward and look up. Just make sure you got that turned on. Huh? There you go. Okay, good. You got that. Now you have a question there, Chanza. What's up? Or oh, you're just randomly waving at YouTube. All right. You, I, I can't hear you talk right now. You're going to have to press that microphone button. Uh, uh, there you go. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Uh, yeah, uh, kind yeah, kind of. Uh, okay. Uh, I, first of all, I don't know how to put my hand up. Second of all, um, all the oh, walls good point. are oh, good pink. Point. Um, I'm in Mac 2D, and all the walls are pink. There's, I don't really see a... a, a oh, okay. Yeah, okay, listen. Yeah, listen um, right, now, right now, Mac support Mac is kind of, experimental. kind of experimental. And until the and majority, majority of world builders update, update their world to support Mac, Mac, sometimes you're sometimes going to go into worlds and not world see, anything. see anything. Probably, yeah, a, lot probably a lot of the stuff in this room right now you won't be able to see. Yeah. You know, so, but right now, everybody, all the world builders are scrambling to get those, you know, Mac support. Uh, in there. Uh, so in right now it's so kind right of experimental. It's still, I believe it's still in beta. I'm not 100% sure, but mm -hmm. they are experimenting with it. Thank you. All right. All right. So you, you know, basically, you know, basically look, we'll, 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 if I were you, I would look for anything that's just now, now until the builders get a chance to catch up. Because none of us saw this really coming. I'll get some goggles when they get announced. I think they're coming Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. 
tomorrow. They got it. Wow. Okay. We got to get ready. We got to get some Mac support up in here. And they can see the office. It's on the list. It's on the list. Yeah. Yeah. Got a long work list going on there. You know, but welcome to Allspace Tragedy. So, you know, a little bit of patience. We'll have our, our content updated soon. You know, maybe a few weeks or so. You know, hey, David, you have a question? No? All right. You're good. How about you, Tamir? Tamila, sorry. I'm lousy with these names. I tell you, I so, put the hands over there should... and I'm like, to read the name too fast. And all of a sudden, I'm like, oh, I messed it up again. Yeah. At least I so didn't try we to should go. VR. We should go outside to the spaceship or. Uh, you can if you like. Sure. I have to stay in the office here so I can answer questions. It's like, yeah, you know, I've tried where I go out with everybody. Then we have people come in here and, you know, they come in late and they're like, why am I here? And they're looking around, they get confused. So I have to stay in this building. Um, but you're welcome to do so. If you go out through this doorway here at the end of the runway, if you go into that, uh, in that aircraft with the open door by that gray wall there, you could fly their ships around. They're a lot of fun. You know, so you just go in there and press your, uh, squeeze your right trigger button uh-huh. on that uh, launch button and then fly it around. You know, we'll see you take oh, off here and we'll, you know, throw okay. up a pause. Thank It'll you. It'll be very impressive. They're even more fun with a flight pen. So. Yeah, if we show you the flight tool, but you'll come back to that. Yeah. <laughs> all right. All right. So, so Chancey, you don't see anything at all. It's just like all pink. Yeah, no. No? Okay. You might not be here. It's an intense there. Okay. I'm going to back away slowly, man. He's pioneer. He's moving now. He's moving now. <laughs> yeah, there we go. He just like it. No, he's 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 just floating away. No. Yeah, we lose more chances like that. That's true. Yeah, we do, we do have to update our content support Mac soon. Yeah, that's got to be a priority. It's on the list. You know what? That's the yeah. thing. It's it's it was a surprise. Um, it was yeah, a... I mean, well, I mean, I mean, it was probably wasn't a surprise for the developers, but for the world builders, it's hmm. it's going to be a scramble. Yeah, because you know what? Just to give you YouTube to give you some idea what's involved. We've got to update Unity, right? To support Mac, and then after that, we have to like hold our breath as we update our upload or re-upload our templates and hope it works. If it doesn't work, then we got to scramble to fix it because then everything's going to be broken for everybody, and it's going to be very stressful. And then after that, <laughs> when that's all done, we're going to come in and make sure it worked. Except we don't have any Macintoshes to the text on the test on it, so we're just going to hope for the best. And then when the Mac user comes in, we're going to go, "Do you see anything?" And they're going to be like, "Yeah." And we're going to be like, well, "What does it look like? Can you describe it to us?" And then we're going to keep going like that. We're going to keep pushing it out and hope it works, man. Because you know, and you know what's wild is we don't get paid to do this, putting in all them hours. Don't look away from me, you do. All right, there you go. All right, all right fine. You just have the next day. I see how it is. No, she no, 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 no. She wasn't looking away. Well, she I thought Scorpio thinking. was flipped. What's going on, Scorpio? She How's it going? Just, thank you. I was just talking to YouTube. I'm not actually insane. You know, or much. Yeah. How's it going? <laughs> all right. Did you learn how to fly, Scorpio? And if not, would you like to? I don't think you were at the main group. No? Okay. I don't know what that means. <laughs> all right. He's unmuted. So, so, maybe. You know, no, the microphone's open, just not talking. Yeah. <laughs> All right, two thumbs up. So you'd like to learn how to fly? All right, cool. All right, what you want to do is you want to press that blue and white triangle button on your lower left. Once you press that, your main menu's going to open up. All right, or you can just, you know, put your hands to your head. That's fine. You know, that's cool. If you don't want to do it, that's cool. No worries. All right, just let me know if you want to learn how to fly. I'll help you out. All right. You do want to learn how to fly. To fly. Okay. Press that blue and white triangle button on your lower left. Go ahead and try that. Okay. All right. You're gonna have to press that blue and white triangle button on your left. On your left. Okay. Now you're gonna have to see all these tabs on the very bottom of your your menu. There. You're gonna want to press that settings tab. With the cogwheel. All right. Now in your left hand side. You'll see a bunch of categories. The third one down is input. Go ahead and press on input. Very good. Now you're going to see at the very top center panel, you're going to see the word fly, and there'll be a white circle next to it. Go ahead and press that white circle. There you go. Now just press close in the lower right. The X with the circle around it. Excellent. And now you can see again. How you doing? Now all you have to do is just move forward and look up, and you're going to go right up into the air. Give that a try. Or not. That's fine, too. Okay. There you go. Excellent. There he goes. Well done. All right. Now, all you need to do is just go outside there, up through those red rings, and you'll eventually reach a tower where you will discover a type of teleportation that feels like form flight, but fast of, feels like a form of fast flight. There we go. Oh, got tongue tied on that one. Yeah. Oh, thumbs you know up to you, too. It Scorpio. sounded good. It sounded good. Well, I don't know. I don't know. It was kind of off. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Got the applause from Hummingbird. Encourages me to keep on going. Yeah, you have a, a, a flight tool 
smoke coming out of your eye, man, and it looks super painful. Oh, <laughs> oh would right, it be all bad. right with you? Would it be all right with you if I had a word with YouTube? Uh, by all means. I don't know if we have any usable content today, but we may make a clip. So this isn't as much for YouTube as it is for alt space developers who might be listening. Whoa, 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 whoa. You said you wanted to work with YouTube. You didn't say you want to talk to all space developers. <laughs> I was being sneaky. I want usable con here, Morgan. Musical content. Musical content? Usable content. All right. No, no, no. We this, were, this is going we down were, the tubes. Quit. Tubes. Get it? All we right. were discussing, we were discussing Mac support, and I was just going to make a small suggestion. Why not? While we're dreaming, right? How about Okay. But that's what mobile. That's but that's what uh, going to altvr.com and going to support and filling out a ticket is supposed to oh, do. You have you're supposed a flight to tool coming out of your cheek and it looks really painful. There we go. It's supposed to you be the time of year like a pencil with a waitress. Like, yeah, yeah. There you go. All right. Okay. It might be. Let's a see. pencil with a waitress. Hey, what's going on? This what's is, going this on? Do you have any really... questions? No, nah, not really. This is really a lot of fun uh, world that you guys cool. created here. Thank well, you. Thank you. Glad you're enjoying it. That's awesome. <laughs> Good news. I oh, see you got absolutely. a handle on the flight tool. Sorry? I see you have a handle on the flight tool. That's cool. Have you tried flying around in the hovercraft yet? Yes. Awesome. Yeah, I just came back. You did that. it with the flight tool? The flight oh, tool yeah. Awesome. For, if you go really yeah, fast, um, the whole ship will shake. It's pretty cool. It's like turbulence. Yeah. You know, it's funny. I joined Alt Space about a week before Burning Man started. Oh, and yeah. Cool. Um, yeah, so then when Burning Man started, the first, that uh, the flight tool was like, like you needed it really to get around yeah yeah so, you did. Sure. Uh, that's true so i mm -hmm. so that's really where i learned to use that and then um cool. and I, but i've wanted to come here anyway just just because yeah nice just, uh, we've had I'm a lot of people see, who, were, who were at burning everything Man and they knew how to use the flight tool already but they didn't have a handle on some of the like the basics of like general flight mode and stuff and it was funny because mm -hmm. while burning man was going on we were working on our set short our time and that's like underwater, and it was like the whole Burning Man, like there's no fire oh, at the bottom of the ocean. I like that. I can't yeah, wait to see that. Really, really sad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, uh, you know, I was hoping somebody says that while I'm on the set because I, I had that like bit ready to go, but it didn't happen. Yeah, <laughs> there we go. What's going on, Morgan? Yeah, I just I just wanted to add, you know, the flight pen's great for for moving around uh, very fast, but but uh, it's also especially good for like if you're interested in building yourself. Um, a lot of the building you end up. You know, you you can get more finesse with the flight man. You can yeah, it gives you like a lot of know. precise movements. Like if you're mm -hmm. building worlds, right? And I'm like, I'm basically I'm gonna I'm gonna place this mug here, right? And while I'm placing this mug, right? Uh, if I if I'm using this the the uh, the controls, right? It's just like kind of like a jerky motion, and you can't get very precise mo movement. Yeah, if you're using totally the flight tool, that. you can like really kind of just get it there, you know, and get it in place there. Of course, I'm just dropping it over and I'm making it look right. There we go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like precise it. movement. Yeah. yeah. I like turning them upside down. For some reason, when you put them like right side up, they just they just fall. Yeah, I got to adjust the Come colliders here. on them. Yeah, I know it's frustrating. There should be coffee all over. <laughs> like Actually, it, you know, flight divers make the mess. Uh, uh, yeah. Morgan, man, I learned a bit. This is this is what I've been trying to do. I've been trying unsuccessfully to put it behind my ear like a pencil. Oh, get it to stay. It keeps, yeah, yeah, sometimes it, it works, though, but most of the time it just comes out of her eye and you're talking to her and it's like, why is there a flight tool coming out of your eyeball? That looks excruciating. Yeah. Yeah. Not, not, not fun to look at there. All right. But yeah, so there's that whole thing. Yeah, a lot of that went on. All right. Let's see. There we go. Really old mug and, then there's, and then there's a longstanding alt space tradition, and I don't recommend this, of making sculptures out of flight tools. Yeah, unfortunately, that can yeah. affect, affect performance. We get that about one, like a couple times, uh, you know, a month easily, where somebody comes in and they've got like fifty flight tools and it's spelling out something. Yeah, and like, that's like, okay, yeah. well, you've just crashed everybody in the room, but good for you. <laughs> that's all. <laughs> you've achieved something. Oops, you've sorry. unlocked all space bonus round. <laughs> Helen, what are you doing? No, I'm sorry. I'm no, I'm just kidding around. Hummingbirds oh, no, no. go. You're learning. It's all move. good. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. All right. Toss that mug out. Oh, that's good. It's funny because I, I taught my dad to fly. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> With the, oh cool. Yeah. Like last week. That was a lot of fun. Oh nice. That's cool. You're bringing, it, for, I, you're bringing your family in. That's nice. Yeah, it was a little bit different. You know, my the way I taught him was a little bit different than how you taught us. You know, I, I went straight mm -hmm. to the tool, and I had to yeah. explain to him how you know when you squeeze the trigger, it creates a dot, 
and yeah. that dot really is your central location. And then when you move the pen around the dot, that's really your point of reference. Oh, I like that. It's a good way to explain it. That's cool. That's a great way to explain it. Dot at first, you know, and really get a feel of how you move around it. And if nice. you're used to that, you know, then you don't have to look at it anymore. You just have it exactly. in your head. Yeah, you don't really have to think about it once you're comfortable with it. How did your dad like all space? Oh, he liked it a lot. Um, oh, nice. He's a little set in his ways, though. He's 80 years old. And wow, okay. um, he was very reluctant to just sit and absorb some of the visual information that was coming at him. He was like, well, why? Yeah. Why? why? Well, why is this here? Why, why is this tree sticking out of there? I'm like, well, because yeah. the builder thought it looked good. Yes, <laughs> but, exactly. it exactly. <laughs> but it doesn't. But it doesn't make sense. Like, it doesn't have to make sense, Dad. Yeah, it's true. You know, so. it's a different perspective. It's pretty neat. I brought my mom in actually. You know, and she got, comes in a lot. You know, doesn't miss many shows and all that. So yeah. It's, uh, yeah, it's neat when you, when you have like you actually know in here. Did you guys come in at the same time, or he was like using your headset while you were next to him? Oh, we were in the same time. Okay, cool. Because when you can actually see somebody you know in VR, it's wild because you can actually recognize it, body language. Right? Oh, absolutely. Like, right? And, yeah, and I use, feel that familiarity. It's, it, it's really strange. Yeah, That's and true. I use a lot of body language because I work with the deaf and I use sign language a lot. So, oh, wow. Yes. You know, so my, my hands are always going when, like, when I'm talking. <laughs> but an older version of Allspace, they had a full hand tracking on some devices. They had like the, the leap motion, it was called. And uh, what they did was they had uh, people from the deaf community were coming in and they were using, uh, it was a limited form of sign language, but it was effective. And when Allspace had to take it out, there was a big kind of protest. You had the owner of Allspace standing up on the podium explaining that this was being removed. You had somebody standing in front of her actually doing sign language as a form of protest, showing why it was, why it was important to have it. You know, it was, it was yeah. really powerful. It was kind of a kind of big moment there. Yeah. You know? And uh, yeah, and I, so that's that whole point. All right. Well, yeah. I've that's I've got to get going at this point. All right. Well, cool. But nice, nice seeing you. Thank you. Sir. Right. Yeah, it was great meeting you're you guys. Welcome. And um, I'm looking forward to that sh that uh, show you're talking about the oh, yeah, shark time. What is it? Shark time. Shark, shark time. Shark time. Yeah. All right. Very cool. All right. I'm gonna my voice in chat, so I'm gonna re-enter real quick. I'll be right back. I'm gonna have a question. Just be right back one moment so I can clear my voice. Bye, everybody. Bye, bye. Mm -hmm. He'll be right back. He had to re-enter. His voice was getting choppy. All right, that there should help. Is. There we go. Huh. There we go. All right, is my voice clear? I got a text from Morgan saying it was choppy. She might have been talking yeah. about herself. Oh, yeah. yeah. Morgan, oh, did you mean me was choppy? You you were choppy, and I figured that I would re-enter the space. And oh, okay. So both at the same time. Oh, you have a question, Sabilla? Yeah, Michael. I just want to ask, like, how I can speed up if I fly? Oh, how you can sit up if you fly? No, speed up, like, to raise my speed. Speed up. Raise your speed. To go faster. Oh, your speed. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you were saying, how do I sit <laughs> up and fly? I'm like, well, you can play from a seated position. But, okay, I misunderstood that. Sorry. <laughs> um, what you can do is, is to speed up, you can either squeeze your left trigger button, right, and that'll make you go faster. Right, yeah. or you can use the flight tool, right? And the flight tool is going to make you go much faster. It's a really, it's a great way to get around, and it results in very precise movement. I can walk you through how to do that. What you want to do uh -huh. is you want to open your main menu by pressing your uh, blue and white triangle button there. Now, once yeah. you do, uh, on the tabs on the bottom, you're going to see that settings cogwheel to the lower right. You just press on that, and you're going to see on the left hand side you have all these categories, and one of those categories is going to say items. When you press on that, items. you're going to see uh, you're going to see flight tool, and uh -huh. press spawn. When you press spawn, oh. one will appear right in front of you and your menu will close. Now, if you aim at this pen here, you can sweep, you can aim at it and squeeze your grip button and it'll come to your hand like the force is strong in you. So just go ahead and just do that. Thank there you. you go. All right. Hang on. There we are. All right. You just basically you point your pointer at the flight tool and you'll see your, your pointer changes a little bit. And then you squeeze that grip button on the side of your third finger on the side of the controller. Like that. And it'll come to you. No. And take a moment to get it. So basically, if you stand still, right, don't move yeah. around. If you take your controller and point your pointer that's coming out of your hand, when you point it at the flight tool, you're going to see a target appear on it, right? And now if you squeeze ah, your grip okay, button okay, okay. like that, yeah. it'll come right to your hand. So your third finger to squeeze that. Oh. All right. Once I, it takes so, a minute to get, so don't worry. Uh, 
That's your index finger. So just on the side of the control, your third finger, your middle finger, just give that a squeeze. Right there on mm -hmm. the side. There you go, while you're pointing, you, you just had it. All right, so get that pointer on there. It takes a minute to get it, so don't worry. But you, you squeeze your grip button at it. Right. Uh, I think I, I um, I think I right, don't no, Like I said, it takes a minute. This finger right here yeah. on the side of the controller, right? Right yeah. there. You can just squeeze that, like, right here, the side finger right there, while you're pointing at the point, at the pen. Ah, right. that okay. Looked like the, that looked like the right one, but your pointer's got to be, like, changed while it's pointing at the flight tool. So Any I need luck? to point at that, um, oh, okay. And Wait, what I device are you to... on, by the way? Uh, uh, Oculus Quest. Oh, okay. Oculus Quest, all right, good. All right, let me uh, make it a little bit easier for you. I'm just going to bring it over here and now reach out and squeeze the grip button. It's the third finger in, like as though you're grabbing it. Let's see if that works. Oh. No, no, that's the index finger. There you go. There all it right, is. Well, hold on. All right, don't move. Oh. All right, you almost had it. Oh, it attached to me. <laughs> it's getting very complicated. Okay, look. All right. So, all right, on your controller, right, you have your thumb, right, and that controls your, th your thumbstick and your buttons. You have your yeah. index finger, and that's your, right here, your index finger, and that's going to, uh, squeeze the yeah. trigger, but the third uh, finger on the side, that's your grip button. And that's what you're going to use to grab things. All right. So uh, if you grab onto that flight tool right there, you squeeze that middle button, right? There you go. All right. So don't move. So squeeze okay. and hold that button, that side button, just hold it like that. All right. Really? All right good. Now don't let go. I'm going to sign the waiver. That's very important and legally binding. <laughs> all right. Good. Excellent. Now, all you have to do to use the flight tool while you're gripping it, you don't let go with that grip button now is if you squeeze your index finger, like your trigger button right here, and you yeah. squeeze it, you can draw little lines with that pen. So if you draw little lines, it's gonna move you slowly in that direction. But if you drew a long oh. line, straight up, you'd smack your head in the ceiling. But if you drew long lines, it goes really fast. And that's why you sign the waiver, right? So the longer <laughs> the line, the faster you'll go. And if you move uh -huh. the pen in and out, like closer to your body, it's gonna make you go backwards, and away from your body, it's gonna make you go forwards, all right? Oh. It takes a little oh. while to get used to it. So like experiment uh -huh. with it. Until you feel like you're comfortable, okay? Oh, I see. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. All right, there you go. Awesome. Good I don't surprise. Know that for that feeling. What you say, Hummingbird? What? I said I don't have that feeling. And I see a new design, seventy five hundred unique. Uses, yes, sir. yes, we're proud of it. You can't see yes. that from there, YouTube. We have a new sign up here on the desk. Come on yes. in the in the hall space and check it out. Yeah, and all that. And that right there is why this event's important. Yeah, it is because not everything's intuitive and um Yeah. You know, I, I think that overall I, I often have felt in the past that whether it's a game or it's a new technology, there are always those who are the early adopters and they sort of have sure. a, a bit of an elitism to them, you know, where they assume yeah. that everybody's coming from the same place that they're coming from. And there are people well, I remember who come we were once to told we were once told that we shouldn't have this event because flying was super easy. You know, but you see something oh. like that and that's why this event is important. It varies well, a lot. But, it varies a lot. It does. All right. Well, we are about out of time. So, Humbert, I'll see you out there. All right. Okay. And, uh, okay. And Morgan, I'll see you out there. Okay. Oh, there we go. <laughs> All right, guys. Yeah. Thanks for coming, everybody. Thanks for the event support. And YouTube, thanks for joining us today. All right. It's a little crazy. We had some fun, though, right? Right? Okay. You can put comments below. If I ask you guys a question, <laughs> feel free to answer in the comments below. But thank you for coming. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you next time. All right, cool. Let's head on out. Bye, Don't miss Shark Time. Whatever you do, Shark Time's worth seeing. Come in for that. All right. See you all next time. Okay, Bye. see you. Bye-bye.